Hey everyone, we're going to keep going on warehouse management and uh, today I am just going to focus on the purchasing side. We've actually been doing that, so we have the east location um, and, and we're just, just focusing on the inbound. The outbound is exactly the same, it's just the reverse of the inbound processes, so we're just focusing on inbound. Now what we did was require um, receive which basically means that we have to have a receipt document when we are posting receiving into the warehouse so when the purchase order is issued it's released and the user actually hits create warehouse receipt that creates this receipt document where we receive inventory into warehouse and the warehouse people do this part. So this part is warehouse employee. Whereas um, the purchase order, let's say here East, uh, PO for East. And the purchase order is done by purchasing, right? So warehouse employee does everything below. Now, what I'm gonna do now is add one more step in the requirement. We're gonna require that from the receipt document there is going to be a put away put away and and that's also a document so that once you receive it received into the receiving bay and then from the receiving bay we could issue a put away to put away what was received now i'm just i only have one po one receipt document one put away and again when things go into multiple you could actually have one PO, uh, I mean two POs, which have two receipts, but do one put away for both of those receipts. So you can think about it visually that you have, let's say you have a location here. So this is the warehouse and you have doors right here. Let's say three, three doors and there are trucks uh, bringing in inventory here. And then the inventory comes in and is put in the receiving area right here. So that's the receiving area. And then, and then over here, we have storage. So let's say this is the storage area. And then the put away is the instruction to put receipts. It could be this as well. Put it into storage where it's properly like stored in racks. So we have one document that actually acknowledges this receipt. That's the required receipt, the receipt document. We'll just call it RD. And then we have this, which is put away, PA. So we have PAs. So these it, documents are issued from the purchase order, receipt document and put away documents to instruct the warehouse to receive the inventory in and then another document to put it away. Now we're not using bins at this moment. So everything is done without bins. So it's super simple. Basically just says, receive that inventory. Okay, I received all the inventory, post done, in. Put it away, I put it away. Okay, it's done, that's it. So there's never anywhere where it says where you put it away, which is sort of the reason why we wanna use this. We wanna use where you put it away. Otherwise, <coughs> this might be kind of overcomplicating the process without getting much benefit back. But let's take a look at how the put aways work uh, inside Business Central. Okay, <coughs> so now we're gonna move a little bit further into the location. So if we go into the location card, uh, like that and get into the east location. I have here require receive that has been turned on. And I also put require put away now on this one. So now I'm not only asking for receive, but also a put away form. Uh, and these are the only two checkboxes that I have. So if I go into a purchase order, just go into one that I created uh, for the east location right here. Um, 
I can go ahead and release this. I think it's actually already released right now. Yep. Uh, and it's just for a hundred pieces of coffee mug coming into the East. Uh, so if I go here into warehouse, create warehouse receipt, it does what it did last time when I demoed this, it creates a warehouse receipt. So I'm going to go ahead and get into that one. Here's the quantity and I did fix the, uh, the setup. So actually in the, we do have warehouse setup. I'll just get into that quickly, uh, where we have to set up the number series. So I set up for warehouse receipts, posted warehouse receipts, warehouse putaways and posted or registered. We call them registered inside the warehouse, um, putaways. It's the same thing as uh, posted. <clears throat> so here uh, I have these hundred and I'm just going to go ahead and make sure, yeah, we have quantity receive hundred. Go ahead and post that, post the receipt. So I am the warehouse user here and I'm looking at the warehouse receipts only. So I only see the warehouse receipts that are generated from the purchase order. And I can go ahead and post that to acknowledge the receipt. So you don't have to do the receipt from the, um, from the purchase order itself. So if I go in here and just hit post, post receipt. Yes. And now it actually receives. And it creates a put away activity immediately. So what you've done here is the, the purchase order has been received, means the inventory is now in the receiving bay of my warehouse. And now I need somebody to take that inventory and put it into the racks. And that's called a put away. So <clears throat> let's close that out and uh, go into warehouse putaways. So there's a list of those. And I have one created for the East location. So if I go into that one, I have here that I got to put away the coffee mug. So we got to put away a hundred and it's, it's in pieces. And there is so a lot of nuances here. Um, like here we have, for example, break bulk. Um, we have possible cross stocking that could happen, um, all kinds of things. But at the very least, what I'm going to do is do is put this product away uh, into the rack. Now, you might notice that uh, here, as I'm putting it away, I'm not specifying where I put it away. And, uh, and so that's, you know, that's because we're not working with bins yet, but I'm still doing the whole process of receiving and putting away. So I'm going to just do this, um, go ahead and post or register this put away, register the put away. Now it's put away and it's inside the warehouse. So you might think, Hey, why did you really do that put away? Why did we have to do that? Um, I mean, it's an instruction to take it from the receiving bay and put it away. But since we weren't putting it away in a particular area in the warehouse, like actually specifying where I put it away, why do we need that instruction? And that's a good argument. You might not need it. And it's maybe more tailored toward if you have bins active, which is going to be the next topic we'll get into.